Washington. Yeah. We talked to you about Eddie. Uh, oh man, great guy, man. Ain't he uh, funny, funniest he's, guy we've had on the show and everything? I love him. Funny, hey guys, man. I really got to get ready. I got to get, uh, get on air here. See, you're no help. Yeah, how come he no gets help. paid every man. week and we get a check once yeah. a month? Yeah, told me to get coffee for him come, yesterday. Come here, man. Oh, come what's up, man? He gets paid every week. We get paid once a month. Who, who are you talking about? Eddie, there's Eddie. no Eddie. living water, oh, man. He's got a head this big. Who, Eddie Agarola? Yeah. Hey, Eddie's the big draw on the Eddie, show. You know Eddie gets more mail than you clowns, okay? Eddie, Eddie stays. The boss likes him. Eddie stays. I don't want to hear it. Eddie stays. Eddie ain't no good. All right, come on, guys, move out of the way. Eddie, get set up with your lines. Practice your lines so you don't screw them up this week. Come on, hey, guys, hey. move out of the way. Would you? Hey, thank you very much. Come on, yeah, okay, go ahead. Thank you, Dan. Hey. Hi, uh, this is Eddie Agurilla, and uh, what you guys going to do, huh? <laughs> Looking good, Ed. Looking yeah. good. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> 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 Go, fellas. Live! 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 It's the Round Town! Good job. Rob K, how are you? All right. How are you, Tim, tonight? Yeah, Good. I'm telling you, band's down fantastic. Some exciting you, things sir. happening with different members of the band. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got we to talk to a couple of different ones. Uh, Anthony. Uh, yes, indeed. Something happening with Anthony's yes, life? Yes, indeed. We might have a uh, little bit of a record deal going on down here at the end there. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony, uh, congratulations on that. 12 Strong Gypsies. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be, we'll be having them on as a guest here uh, shortly. But, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. We've got an exciting show for you. We've got uh, uh, Pat O'Donnell coming on from the Comedy Cabaret. So Pat O'Donnell was the $10,000 uh, uh, for remember America's Funniest People. Right. It was right. the show that, pre uh, that preceded the America's Funniest Home Videos. Yes, I did. Pat O'Donnell was one of the $10,000 winners, and he's here with us tonight. Woo! And we're going to find out if he still has some of that money or not. <laughs> And, I, and, I'm, and I, I'm really excited about Anita Vaughn, and she's coming over and bringing some uh, different uh, animals. For, for I, I, somebody told me Anita has some very, very weird animals, and I don't know what she's going to bring on, but I don't like animals. I don't like snakes. You like snakes? Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. Like snakes. <laughs> Rob, you, with snake parts, you're coming out for I know Indeed. that. Yeah, yeah. But it's, uh, and, and, and plus, we've got a, a doo-wop group, the Emeralds. Remember the Emeralds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big time 60s doo-wop. Yeah. Stand, standing on the corner. Standing on the corner, doo-wopping, and, uh, you know, singing back in those days. You remember that, don't you, Dan? Hey, I'm Italian. Don't say doo-wop yeah. around me, boy. <laughs> but, but we're we're going to have a good time. And uh, as usual, we've got the, uh, I've, I've got a special guest coming on. Alex P. Older is going to be on tonight. Nobody is knows this Alex. the Alex that you say this is, to yeah, every yeah, week? Yeah, this is the one I say. She's appearing here. Oh, yeah, she's coming on tonight. So, you know, I've told you, but, you know, hot-looking babe and all that. She's coming right here tonight. Oh, so she's the hot-looking oh, yeah, babe. Yeah, yeah, oh. she's the prettiest thing I've ever laid my eyes on, outside of my wife, because my wife's in the studio tonight, too. So Your wife's say, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I doubt if we're going to get her on. But uh, we got an exciting show, but it's as usual. We, we do this each and every week. We go to a mailbag or something like that, and I think it's time that we go to the mailbag, guys. So uh, let's go. All right, mailbag time as we do each and 
and every week right here on Around Town Live. And the address, we're going to throw that up on the screen if you want to write, comment about anything, be a part of the show. You can do so by writing positive promotions. 26 Fox Hunt Drive, uh, Suite 188. Bear Delaware, 19701. There you go. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> we'll leave that up there for a few minutes so you can write that down if you have any comments or want to send tapes into the show if you've got an exciting band out there that you're trying to get. As a matter of fact, Timmy, uh, we're going to have some local uh, talent on the show in the future. Uh, we have been getting a lot of tapes in and videos, and, yeah. and I'm pretty impressed with some of the talents around here in Delaware. And yeah. we're going to give them the chance. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to we're going to talk about uh, some upcoming groups that's coming on on in the next few week, weeks right after you do the mailbag because that's what time it is. Oh, and, okay, uh, yeah. Well, Again, I, I grabbed one letter tonight, okay? We've been getting, and as a matter of fact, I want to tell everybody, everybody that's been sending mail, please be patient. I know I just started going through some the other day, and I had some birthday greetings from January. So uh, understand I'm the only guy going through the mail right now until I can get some interns. We've been getting... Uh, a minimum of 50 to 60 letters a week. So, so that's a lot of yeah, letters. Oh, that's okay? a lot of reading. And I can't read all those letters. Yeah. But this one here says, Dear Around Town Live Producers, Me and my girlfriends were at Portofino's on Wednesday, April 2nd, and saw the host of your show dressed up like Elvis Presley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a shame he's married. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Not too, too good of a look at Elvis either, I should uh, say. We were totally shocked to hear him sing and didn't know he had such a great voice. I've seen him on Channel 28 for a couple of years now and met him once during a teen scene taping. Can we come down to the show one night and meet him? And is it possible uh, he can come to my mother's 50th birthday party and sing an Elvis tune for her? I doubt it. I it means so much to her. How much would he charge? <laughs> well, but speaking so, of that, that was... Wait, wait, that's Patty Mercer from Newcastle, Delaware. Okay, Patty, uh, speaking of that, uh, that was a show that we was doing. We do every Wednesday nights from Portofino. It's called Tale Stars. Kathy O'Grady, Tale Stars. Airs right here on Channel 28, uh, Sunday nights at 1130, so you can catch that. But we did have a clip because I wasn't the only Elvis down there. And uh, Ryan, if you're ready with that clip, we're going to roll that right now and this is uh, the other Elvis and then there was five of us and we'll explain it all when we get back so go ahead and roll that clip right our next singer up is going to be Danny from around town live Here's the dancers. Ready, guys? Go. Complicated ladies, color my baby. Telling you never again, no, never oh, again, <laughs> never again. <laughs> ah, oh, come ah. on. Yeah, yeah, right. Like that. That's, that's what he sounded like. <laughs> that's, that's what you hear. You're gonna meet that 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 dude here in just a minute, mate. He's, he's I know my wife's sitting at home saying, "Oh, what a jerk." That's 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 my dog barking off stage. Is that, oh, your dog's against yeah, the Oh, that's it. That's it. That's that noise you're hearing. We're gonna introduce my dog and everything. But uh, we also want to talk about what we got coming up in upcoming shows. Yes, we do so have some great some, upcoming yeah, shows. Yeah, because I got to say next week that Jamie Hurd's gonna be here, and she's that junior Olympic skater. I'm excited about that local girl right here from Delaware. That's right. And you guys have some uh, footage on that. Uh, yeah. Yes, we do. So you want to be sure, and that's next week, along with? Along with Bobby Love from the Tokens. As a matter of fact, Bobby's here tonight. <laughs> Bobby, just come here for a second. Come here, come here. Just come up here. Come here. <laughs> this is Bobby Token of the Tokens. Bobby Love of the Tokens. Turn around here, Bobby. Bobby Bobby will be the guest next week. We don't want to waste too much time with yeah. Bobby tonight because yeah, we have a lot yeah, of other guests. Yeah, but, yeah. but Bobby was one of the tokens. And uh, I think, Bobby, are you going to sing Lion Sleeps tonight? Timmy's been dying for somebody that, to that's sing. That's my shower it. song. That's the one song you know you well, sound. Well, well, we'll give you some. We'll give you some backup on it. Bobby Love, ladies and gentlemen. Guest for next week. <laughs> Thank you.
I like that, though. It sounds good in the shower. Do you day. know what that means? Oh, or no. We know what? No, I have no idea. That means the lions. What is it? It's, it's a, a chant. And we got some lions well, coming on because Anita Vaughn's going to be here. I hope you're not bringing the lions on. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, okay. Up and then jazz singer Debbie Stevens will be back with us again next week. All right, all right. Fantastic lady. Then we have on April 21st, we have Double Exposure. Remember Double Exposure? Yeah. yeah. And we have Dr. Ted Katz. Dr. Katz is the plastic surgeon that does that strange hair yeah, transplant. Work, works on it's your not head. me, though. It's one, of yeah. our, it's one of our workers here, but it's not me. Jimmy Big. And, yeah. and then on April the 28th, we have the uh, famous music critic, uh, Mr. Cal Rugman, will be here with us. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you know, last week we had a, our Wing It show because it had snowed on Monday, so uh, Ann Kubel was supposed to be with us, but Ann will be here. May 5th. Oh, for a minute there, I, thought, you, I yeah. thought for a minute there, the great salami was coming nah, back. No, no more salami. <laughs> <laughs> the great salami, the psycho was going to be with us. That was Crazy Jack, of course. The exciting show coming your way. We come back, we got some exciting things happening. We're going to take a commercial break. And as soon as we get back, we're going to uh, bring Alex P. Older on, I think, and my dog. How's that sound? Your we'll dog? be right back right after this commercial break. <laughs> here and of course uh, sitting back here round town live and with me now is the sweetheart of a girl Alex P. Older. Hi Alex. Can you, can you, now you got to be real loud out here can you say hi? Say it real loud. Hi. Okay now now, now what we're going to do Alex is Alex, Al, Alex likes to sing songs and everything since it's coming into the baseball season I think it's only fair that we uh, take you out to the ball game. And uh, it's something, that I, I guess you were, how old are you now, Alex? Four and a half. Four and a half. She, she learned this song, started singing it when she was about a year and a half, I think, because she'd been singing it for many years. You going to sing it for us? You ready? You think you can sing it real loud? Okay, let's go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back soon. It's me for the home team. This is a shame. So it's one, two, three, structure out at the old ball game. <laughs> Unbelievable, Rob. Unbelievable. I couldn't even say ball game at four and a half years old. And here she goes, sings the songs. And she does a lot of other ones. I'm going to try to get her on and uh, do a couple songs every now and then. Uh, you, you like the one that, uh, what's the, the old lady that swallowed this fly? Do you remember that one? That's a long song, though, so we'll do that one week. <laughs> Alex P. Older, and real quick, you want, to, you want everybody to meet the dog. I mean, Alex, I say hi to Alex each and every week, and she said, can I come up and be on a show, and I'll sing a song, and I can bring the dog on so everybody can see the dog. So, Jamie, if you would, uh, Grumpy, come. Grumpy, come. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Turn around here. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. He's kind of happy to be here. Alex, you want to stand up beside the dog real quick? Stand up beside Grumpy. Can you get down from there? All right. Believe it or not, we got a horse coming on that's not the size of this dog, so. <laughs> you gonna take Grumpy off the stage? There's not a chance. Uh, we're gonna go uh, to a quick commercial break, is that what we're gonna do? And then we're gonna bring Anita Vaughn on and a lot more am animals and everything. Grumpy, who is it? You ready to go? All right, and we'll be right back right after this, so stay with us, Round Town Live. You did it good.
<laughs> the Round Town Live Orchestra, I should say, over there. Good Orchestra. job, guys. And as I promised, we got a special guest, and uh, hopefully we get her to come each and every couple of weeks or so, months, and something like that. I'll work with Danny and bring us some different animals. This right here is Anita Hill. I want to get that right. Did I get that right? Anita. Yeah, Anita. <laughs> and uh, Anita, I, I, first of all, before we get into the animals, because you've got quite a few different animals we're going to look at and everything, let's find out a little bit of what, what your place is all about. Okay, well, we started four years ago, and what we do is we rescue farm animals. Um, and they're from all different situations. Um, most of the time they're from farms that are shut down due to neglect. Um, private individuals who get a farm animal, they think they're cute, and then they don't realize, you know, the work that's involved. Um, and sometimes they're confiscated by humane societies, game wardens, things like that. Now, what, what is this thing that's flapping here? It's, <laughs> it looks like a rooster. This is a silky bantam rooster, right, right? And he is, they're very friendly. Believe it or not, they make real good pets. Um, now, he crow, he, he's, it is a rooster. He crows whether, I'm surprised he's not now with the lights on, but... I thought he would. As the sun comes up, he just uh, crawls away. Or when the car lights hit him. It doesn't <laughs> matter any time. Now, the, now the, the, you guys are setting it up so it's more of a petting place, too, I, I understand. That, uh, right, right. Where we're located now, um, it's zoned. Where, the way it's zoned, you cannot um, visit us. Um, we are in the process of opening in Glen Mills, Pennsylvania, a location where people can come and visit us and have birthday parties and things with their children there. Um, and get pony rides and petting zoo and, and do some seasonal, you know, seasonal things we'll have there. We got a pony here too. We'll be showing you that here in just a minute. Uh, well, there, there it is right there. I'm telling you, that's the smallest uh, horse in the world is a, a, dwar a dwarf horse, I guess. Uh, right. He, uh, was, he was born a dwarf. Um, he was, his parents were miniatures. Uh, occasionally a dwarf is born. Normally they're put to sleep because they do have some deformities. But uh, we rescued him. He's about a year and a half old. And, uh, and he's, he's as cute as can be yes, and as friendly. I mean, except he tried to bite my knee earlier. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I've got sugar on my knee or something. I don't know. He's uh, trying to bite at everybody. Uh, uh, the cute horse. So now I guess he probably could be ridden by somebody a little tiny, but you don't do I mean, versus right. using them just uh, for petting purposes. Right. Well, the miniatures can be ridden. But he, because of his deformities in his back Rob legs. Rob Kay's getting his hat out. I can see him now. <laughs> There's one you can ride for a change. Yeah. <laughs> now, speaking of riding, now, your husband does some riding, too. Yes, he does. Yeah. He, he we rides pro rodeo. Pro rodeo. He right. rides uh, bulls, Brahmas, right? Right. Yeah. Right. You can, <laughs> Saturday nights at Cowtown, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Fun he life does. here. Oh, and, yeah. and, 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 and this this rooster here, though, I want to I look at this rooster because the, the feathers are kind of... You can see he has feathers all the way down his feet. He's more of a fancy, fancy breed. He wouldn't, obviously, he's very light. There's nothing wrong with him, though. There's huh? not, no, there's nothing wrong with him. But he, we do get our birds from slaughter auctions where a lot of times uh, they're sold. This happens a lot. They're sold. F people buy them and take them home and slaughter them. But unfortunately, they don't realize is that they're buying birds that their health is not guaranteed at the time. And you're told at the time, if you buy that bird and take it home and eat it, and you get sick, that's your, pro you know, it's your problem. So they're not, you know, they're, it's... <laughs> if it ain't got wrapped in the USDA stamped on it, I ain't going right, to eat it anyway, so. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Rob says, there's a free plug for Frank. <laughs> right. <laughs> Looked kind of like him, too. I didn't say that. <laughs> but it, you, you brought some other ones that we, we were talking about the horse there just uh, briefly. Now, he gets out and runs with the uh, other horses and stuff, you were saying? Oh, yeah. He's in the field with full-size horses. Um, so he's enjoying life. Oh yeah, he has a good time. Yeah, and that's and that's what your place is all about. We've right. got a number too. I don't know if it, did you get that to Ryan uh, so yeah. he can put it up on the screen for uh, Animal Crackers. If you want to write them, eight eight two, Shavertown Road, Boothwin, Pennsylvania one nine zero six one. Telephone number easiest way six one zero four five nine one two zero five. If you want to find out more information on the animals and uh, what you guys are all about, maybe uh, some I don't, I don't know I, funding wise. How, how do you work as far as funding? I mean, uh, well, what we do is we travel to local carnivals, school fairs. Um, I do visit elementary schools and we do and daycare centers. 
with um, educational programs. So if somebody was having a birthday party or Absolutely. kids or something like that, a little bit different, you guys can right. come out we, and do, bring some animals? We bring pigs, cows. Pigs and cows. And no pigs, or, no, no <laughs> pigs or cows at night. But we do have another one. We have a, a, a rabbit over there. If we can get that over this Here. way, I mean. Uh, Let me have Dinky. I'll take Dinky if you can get him. Dinky. Right. And this is a part Angora rabbit that also came from a slaughter auction. His name is Tattoo. He has a, he has a tattoo ID number in his ear. So he was used for uh, breeding purposes. And then when the time came when they, he couldn't be used for that anymore, they decided to just, you know, get rid of him. And so they just take them to a slaughter auction and auction them off and people take them home and right. do with them what they want. Exactly. And of course, you rescue them. I mean, you can only rescue so many of them, though, right. out we, there. There's about, we have about 58 different types of animals right and now. And all living in the house right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but, but you have them all with you now. You're moving them out and then to uh, uh, right. another area so people can come by and enjoy them. Right. Uh, but the main thing is, once again, if you have a, a birthday party or a school function going on, you want to look, look at something a little bit different than the usual. Uh, Anita, you come out and bring, like you said, horses, pigs, the cows, uh, right. and different animals. So once again, can we throw that address up there one more time? That's Animal Crackers, and I'm just going to give you the phone number, 610-459-1205. So you want to write that down. If you've got a special occasion, if you just want to call Anita and find out more about the slaughters and stuff like that, maybe some people might be interested in going to those and rescuing some animals themselves, you know. Right. Of course, there again. You know, if you're going to rescue a rooster, be sure that you can take care of a rooster <laughs> <That's> right, <exactly. laughs> or a pony. Uh, that's a cute pony. And the rabbit, now the rabbit, now that's uh, uh, nothing wrong with the rabbit at all. Nothing just, wrong. He's you know, part Angora. I think he was just aged yeah. and they were finished using him. So, so but obviously, I mean, he was, he was pretty. worth, you know, he was something to somebody to have him tattooed. So right, right. Why he ended up where he did, I don't know, but. Yeah, but you, now how old would you say the rabbit is? I, he's about six now, from what we can tell. But I didn't, when I went, when I got him, I went up there to find, to get calves. We saved calves from veal slaughter. And he, this one kept getting loose out of a box, so I ended up taking him home. But I had no intentions of bringing help rabbits me, home. Help me, help me, help me. That's it. Right. Uh, uh, you've been that way all your life type yep. of deal? <laughs> Take the worms off the side. Now, you help your husband when he gets beat up from throwing off the bull no, and all that? No, I don't watch. <laughs> don't watch I that. don't watch. We watched it the other night. I tell you, that's a, one of the, you talk about a tough sport. I, I give anybody credit. It uh, is. Yeah, and uh, not a whole lot of money at it, but no, it's fun, I guess. Unless you're good at it, but <laughs> It's fun if you like to get beat up on. <laughs> and it's not something you can practice. Yeah, that's yeah, right. that's, you got to ride. Uh, <laughs> uh, good luck to him, and good luck to you. Once again, uh, if you want to get in touch with Anita, you can do so by calling that number, 610-459-1205. I want to thank you, and I hope you'll bring us some more animals, some uh, pigs and stuff like that, and maybe thank we can you. grease them up and see oh, if the yeah. band can catch them, or, you know, <laughs> and have some fun out here. But we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we got uh, exciting, uh, the Emeralds, have you ever heard of that doo-wop group? Absolutely. We've got them, but we've got a uh, comedian from the Comedy Cabaret coming your way, too. So stay right with us. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you so much. Again, welcome back to Roundtown Live. Here in just a couple of seconds, we got a comedian coming your way. We're going to talk about him. Before I get into that, I want to say thanks to Paul and Paul of Dungeness Sounds for doing the sounds for us each and every week here on Around Town Live. Give those guys a great big hand because it's tough to organize all the sound. And since you got your hands warmed up and everything, what I want you to do right now, because he's one of the funniest guys, he's, uh, like Danny said, he won $10,000 on America's Funniest People and all that. And if you would, put your hands together and welcome Pat O'Donnell. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Thank you very much! Thank you! Well, it is great to be here on Around Town Live. I'll tell you, following the animals. I love animals. I'm an animal lover. I own two dogs. How many dog owners do we have here? Dog owners? Dog owners? Sure. 
Yeah, I'll tell you, I buy my dogs the nicest and the newest doggy snacks that come on the market. Like that bacon strip. You ever seen the bacon strip? They advertise with a dog. He's running around the kitchen going, It's bacon, it's bacon, it's bacon, it's bacon, it's bacon, it's bacon. What's in the bag? I can't read. It's bacon. <laughs> eh? Then they say, Dogs don't know it's not real bacon. Hmm. Well, guess what? Your friends with a hangover in the morning, they don't know it's not real bacon either. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. You put it in a bacon sandwich with cheese, they got no idea. <laughs> They are chewing it up going, hey, Pat, this bacon's a little crunchy. <laughs> yes, it is. And if you keep chewing, you don't have to worry about brushing. Isn't that nice? That's very nice. <laughs> Need anything to drink? The toilet's in there. Hope you had a good time last night, right? Because dogs will drink out of the toilet, won't they? Won't they, huh? Yeah. yeah. I can always tell my dog's been drinking out of the toilet, too, because, well, they slob all over me with that blue tongue. That's the easy way to tell right there. My wife said, I think he's sick. I said, no, I think he's having a hard time digesting the tidy bowl, man. He's going to be okay. <laughs> as soon as he passes the boat, honey, he'll be fine. Because I'm a married man. I've been married uh, four and a half years. I've been together with my wife for uh, eight and a half years. And just ten months ago, my wife gave birth to our first child. Isn't that nice? That's pretty nice. Thank you very much. So, I am proud to tell everyone out there, marijuana does not make you sterile. <laughs> Took me three years to prove wrong, but damn it, I did it. And he's a beautiful kid, too. Beautiful. Most beautiful three-eyed baby you've ever seen in your life. I'm telling you. Yes. Perfect vision 2020. One more time there. All right. Ooh, yeah, thank you. Oh, I love my wife, though. My wife confuses me, though, huh? You ever argue with your, with your, uh, with your uh, spouses, huh, guys, folks, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. My wife confused. You know what she said the other day? She said that she thinks that men love to argue about things that have no answer. Because she saw five of my friends argue about who was the greatest basketball player of all time. She said, look, Pat, that's stupid. There's no answer to that question. I said, Patrick, you never see five women sitting around going, hey, Marge, who do you think the greatest sower of all time was? <laughs> But guys, we jump right on that question, don't we, guys? A couple of you guys got the answer right now, aren't you? You're going, Betsy Ross, man. It's Betsy Ross. That's what Edge. <laughs> she did the flag. It's an easy one. Right? Another guy would jump in. Wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Singer made the machine, made it faster. Right? And the last guy would say, come on. Got to be that guy put John Bobbitt back together, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Being a... Being a guy, you got to give to him on principle, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Because there's a guy, man. He, oh, I heard he was going to do ads for a long-distance company, John Bob. Did you hear about that? Which is perfect, because there's anybody who knows about being disconnected. Be that guy right there. That guy's going to know. That's right, man. He made a lot of money. He did adult movies. How many of you folks do you see? The, you read the adult movies? Do you? Oh, two people. Okay, good. Because they, they have a big section in your local video store, right? Okay, I'm the only person who saw that section. All right. Because <laughs> I went in there to write the John Bobbitt thing, you know, for research. And um, a weird thing happened to me. I, strange, another guy walks in. Okay, guys, are you ready? He started talking to me. <laughs> I started up a conversation. I'm looking at him like, dude, I think you broke some kind of code right there, didn't you? There's no talking in this room. I nod at you, you nod at me. I didn't see you, you didn't see me. Mission accomplished, we get the hell out of here, right? Ooh, I don't even talk to the guy behind the counter. I don't care what he says, no. I turned around from that counter though one day, my parish priest looked at me right in the face. I know, man, Woo. He nodded at me, I nodded at him, you know. <laughs> Luckily he knew the rules. <laughs> Priest with proper porn etiquette. You got to appreciate that. That's all I'm saying. Huh? But I was married Catholic. I was married Catholic. And have you ever been to a Catholic wedding, folks? Oh, boy, Catholic wedding. That's something, isn't it? Non-Catholics need a translator at a Catholic wedding. Not so much inside the church, but before the wedding. When Catholics are yelling things at each other like, hey, 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 is this a mass or is this a ceremony? <laughs> See, your translator would say, what time does the reception start? When do we suck down the free booze? Okay. Even if it is a mass, Catholics are out there going, does this count for my Sunday obligation? Do we have to go through this again tomorrow? Right? Because the length of a mass is very important to a Catholic. You can see a Catholic leaving mass. He looks at his watch. He goes, 45 minutes in and out. This guy's good. <laughs> that Bonics is really speeding things up. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. What a nice crowd. Can you believe that? What a great group of people. Thank you, Tim. Pat O'Donnell. I, Patrick O'Donnell. Thank now, you. Now, now you uh, uh, doing a comedy cabaret quite a bit here. Do the comedy the, cabaret. I'm a regular at the uh, comedy stops in Atlantic City, and uh, I'm going to be in Cherry Hill, the Cherry Hill Comedy Cabaret, coming up uh, in uh, two weeks. And uh, 
I guess uh, Comedy Cabaret. I'll be back in Wilmington maybe a couple months or something. Yeah, like but you've been, yeah, you been at it for, uh, you were talking 11, 11 years. 11, 11 years, years now. Yeah. Yeah. I've so been on uh, Comedy on the Road, A&E, and uh, Comedy Central. Won $10,000? Won $10,000, yeah. Well, I do impressions. <laughs> do, uh, yeah, I do Columbo at the uh, OJ trial. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me, Marshal. Move your fat butt out of the way. Excuse me. <laughs> Could I ask you just a few questions here? How did you fall asleep after eating that McDonald's? That's what's been bothering me. <laughs> me and Mrs. Columbo, we had a Big Mac last Thursday. We have not slept since, to be honest with you. Now, now, there are a lot of things that people don't know. I mean, because uh, I've seen the ad advertisements in the news mm -hmm. journal here locally uh, on a comedy cabaret when you're It's 9.30, Friday and right. Saturday night. Every uh, new comedians every week, uh, topical material. Uh, we have uh, impressionists. We got, uh, you know, uh, magicians. You've got monologists. A mix of comedy. Total mix of everything. But, but the thing they don't know is that you're local, too. I mean, oh, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're, you're yeah, a yeah, local yeah, guy right, right here, here from Delaware. Mm -hmm. I, I, guess I started you, in uh, 1986. 1986. I've been full-time for about a eight and a half, almost nine years now. Yeah, and uh, doing all right with it. Doing okay, yeah. Traveling the circuit, hanging babysitting in. during the day. Babysitting, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and congratulations right. on a new one. Thanks, uh, yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks. Yeah. You that's know, but you know something, Tim? Sometimes I think I'm around that little one too much. Because can I ask you a question? Fire. <laughs> Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you toss them over your shoulder like a cotton and a soldier? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> You know what I'm saying, Jim? Oh, Too I'm long. Tell, I'm telling you. Too long. Know all the Barney long. shows. Know all no, the, I know all. Oh, the, oh, yeah. I can't wait till he listens to Barney because then I can stop singing these stupid songs. You know? Yeah, but you got you got a lot lot more coming your way. That's and, uh, right. You know, it's uh, I guess the wife deals with it pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, you know, on she's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yeah. young lady. Because yeah. that's a tough, tough, tough deal of life to lead. Out yeah, there. yeah, yeah. But she's a good lady, good girl. Good yeah, girl. yeah. And you're going to be back here in Wilmington at the Comedy Cabaret within a couple months. I yeah, see probably in, in the summer. Probably I see your ads in a news journal there when you're in parent in town. You definitely want to keep your eye out for Mr. Patrick O'Donnell and check him out at the Comedy Cabaret, Atlantic City, or wherever he is. And we'll be right back right after this. All right. I like that. I like that. The Around Town Live Band. And uh, we've had exciting shows so far, but uh, some excitement's coming. One thing I always like when they talk about music, they talk about instruments and everything else. But when they talk about song, they talk about vocals alone. And I'm telling you, I got some guys right now that's got some dynamite vocals. We're going to hear a song from them, then we're going to talk to them. If you would, now these guys appeared, just got off the stage with Tony Orlando in Atlantic City, and they've come all the way here to Around Town Live just to do this show tonight. So if you would, put a warm welcome in on them for the Emeralds. Boom, 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 maybe you'll be there. Wow. Oh, 
be there. Bum, 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 bum. And maybe you'll be there. Bum, 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 bum. And maybe you'll be there. Oh, my, 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 my. I love it, guys. I love it. I do. I'm going to go over here. And uh, I'm going to start down here. This is easy for me because this is Joey P. How are you doing, Joey? Real good. Real good, Tim. Now, you guys, uh, and, of course, this is Jerry standing behind you. Now, this is the two, um, two originals. Yes, two original animals from South Philly. And you started way back in the 60s? In the 60s, 1966. And uh, you've been keeping on going since then. Just got off the stage with Tony Orlando. Yes, it was great in your box dreams. Yeah, and now, now what's coming up? Some some things happening over in Jersey here in the next couple of weeks. People uh, can check be, it out. We're going to be singing at the VFW in Belmar on uh, April 19th. And uh, I, I'm going to put up a phone number here before the tonight shows if, if somebody wants to book you here locally. I'm going to give you an opportunity to introduce some of the other guys down through here, and I'm going to step out of the way so the camera can get them. Uh, it's easy for me. This is Jim next to you. Right? This is Jim DePlacido, our second tenor and lead singer. And this is Scott Finlayson, our baritone. And Tony Basile, our bass singer. I love I love acapella. I mean, I, I don't think there's better music out there. I mean, sorry, Rob. <laughs> they, they pick on those guys that, that play those instruments and everything, but it's fabulous. I love the sound and everything. You guys going to do another song for us? But if, you, if you're interested in these guys, we're going to tell you a little bit on how to get in touch with them and get them to come out and appear where you're at. And so be sure and check them out. They're going to be in, in Jersey, all around Atlantic City. One more time, put your hands together for the Emeralds. That did it, did that, did it, did it, did that, did it. you guys just a little bit more. I'm, I'm going to step in between you here so I can uh, look at this uh, screen here. They're going to put a number up there. for. Guess what, guys? I don't think they're going to let you get off this stage unless you, can you do. One, can you do one more and then we'll put the number up? All right. I tell you what we're going to do. Instead of going to that, we're going to do one more for the studio audience and you guys at home. Once again, the Emeralds. Dum dum de do be dum 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 de do be dum 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 
Dum de dooby dum. Wa 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 wa. Dum 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 dum. Dum de dooby dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum de dooby dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum de dooby dum. Wa 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 wa. Oh well, love, love you, darling. Come and go with me, and I need you, darling. Way beyond the sea, and I love you, darling. So come and go with me. Oh, love, love you, darling. Girl, with all my heart, and tell me, darling, we will never part. And I love you, darling. So come and go with me. Yes, I need you. Yes, I really need you. Please say you'll never leave. Girl, you say you never. No, you really never. You never give me a chance. Oh well, love, love you, darling. Come into my arms and thrill me, darling. Girl, with all your charms, and I love you, darling. So come go with me. Yes, I need you, girl. I really need you. Please say you'll never leave. Tell me you'll never. No, you say you never. You never give me a chance. Oh well, come, 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 come into my arms. Tell me, darling, we will never part. I love you, darling. So come go. I love, love you, darling. Girl, with all my heart, and tell me, darling, we will never part. And I love you, darling. So come go with me. Wah, 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 wah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh man, I'll tell you. Oh, the emeralds, the emeralds. And once again, uh, guys, I know you just got off the stage with uh, Tony Orlando and you got the deal going in New Jersey, but if people want, here in Delaware want to get you, we're going to throw a number on the screen right now. I believe it is. Ryan, you got that telephone number? 609-266-3193. Now, I have no idea whose number that is. That's, number. that's your number. That's okay. <laughs> Joe, Joey, that, that's who you're going to be talking to is Joey himself. 609-266-3193. And that's the Emeralds. And guys, fantastic job. The doo sound, I think, is still alive and uh, I hope some people come out and check. Now, let me, Thank you. Let me ask you now, if, if, if you were to go out and do something, I mean, how many songs can you literally do just a cappella like that and, and keep it going like you were doing? We got about, we got about 50, 60 songs. Of so you can do, uh, you know, four or five sets then, really. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So a whole night of entertainment with the Emeralds, and all you have to do is pick up the phone and call 609-266-3193. That's 266-3193. And Jimmy's telling me to stretch. One guy's telling me to go to a commercial break, so I have no idea. No commercial break. Well, we're going to, once again, thank, thank the Emeralds for coming out here to, and, and doing this show tonight. Okay, we don't have time. So what we're going to do is the Emerald's going to stay on the stage there for us uh, just for a couple of seconds here while we wrap this up and everything. Uh, I've got to tell everybody who's coming next week. Bobby Love and the Tokens. Bobby Love, people, and he was here tonight. And the Tokens here next week. You want to be sure and be a part of that. And you want to be sure and tune in out there. And then, of course, the comedian from the... Uh, the cabaret will be here as, as usual, and uh, along with that, Deborah Stevens, the jazz singer, and of course, then we've got the uh, the, the ice skater Junior Olympic, and uh, she's going to be out here. And this is Mooney over here. Mooney, you can sit down, sit down right over there, buddy. You're you're fine. We don't want to talk to you or anything. We just want you to come out here so people. Do what the man says. To, you know, Timmy told me to come out here, so here I am. Yeah, you, you're looking. We just want to find out how things are going with you. Uh, I guess okay. I was on my way out the door, and he grabbed me and snatched me back. He said, "Go sit next to Tim." Yeah, they were talking about you not feeling real good about this uh, Eddie guy. Uh, I don't. I'd rather not talk about Eddie right now. You know, it's kind of a sore subject. You know, kind of kind of upset that he just, just wouldn't look. You know, he does the opening each and every week and all that kind of stuff. This was a setup. He's going to bring that little clown back on here now, isn't he? No, no, we're not going to bring. Here comes. Here comes. We will just. You know, anytime. It, no, no, anytime. See, see, no, Eddie, you're kissing the wrong end. Wait a minute. No, I didn't say that. It's, it's your time for us to get out of here. We're getting awful close to it and everything. Eddie, come on over here and sit down. And uh, this is the Emeralds, guys. We're, this is what I should have let you do another song because the audience would have probably enjoyed it a lot more. Rob K., I want to thank you. You don't have a microphone, so you're not talking to me. So it's Eddie. Agree. Eddie, how are you? I'm fine. 
Yeah, you, you're doing good. Now you didn't get a chance to uh, you didn't get a chance to do your thing last uh, at the opening of the show and everything. How, how much time we got left, Jimmy? Are we close to wrapping it up here? About a, about a minute or less. Okay, Eddie, I, I need you to change just a little bit because we're going to end the show and everything. So you can tell everybody to be sure and tune in next week to see what. Live from Wilmington, it's around town. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. There you go. And that's and Mooney, that's why he's got the job and you don't. Until next week, I, once again, I want to put our hands together. First of all, how, how about my niece, little four-year-old Alex P. Older? And Alex, if you're watching, it's time for you to go to bed now. And uh, Anita Hill, we want to thank Anita Hill for bringing the animals on. And, of course, Patrick O'Donnell from the Comedy Cabaret. What a fantastic job he did. And my favorite of the night, I hate to say this, guys, with the other people still here, but I love acapella, the Emeralds once again. Until next week, this is Tim Qualls for Around Town Live. Join us right here. Bye-bye.